Hello, good morning. In this video, we are going to learn about body movements. When I say body movements, what actions come to your mind? We all write with pen, we run, walk, we stand, sit, fold our legs, stretch our hand, we turn around, we bend, we move our fingers, our toe fingers, we blink eyes. So many movements you can think of, right? Which body part we use, for example, while playing tennis, running a running race, boxing, performing a gymnastic act, or swimming? Can you imagine, can you list out the body parts that you use while doing some activities like this? For example, while playing tennis, you use your whole body, your hands, you run around, you jump, you turn around with your neck. Similarly, while running on a race, you use your legs, you stretch your arms, you, you swing your arms. And while swimming, for example, you use your arms and legs together. Right? Have you thought about how animals move from place to place? Which body part they use to move? A flying bird, a slithering snake, a running dog, a fish that swims in an aquarium, a mosquito probably. How do they move? Do plants show any movements? Of course, they don't run around, but they do show movements. The, they grow taller. The leaves, they move when the wind blows. And have you tried touching a touch-me-not plant? It leaves close when touched. The branches grow, the roots grow. Venus flytrap, for example, is a carnivorous plant. When an insect sits in it, it just traps it and closes on the insect. And that insect becomes its food. Now, move different parts of your body and notice the differences in their movements. For example, you can turn around. You can try moving your head from side to side, nod your head, look up, look down. Can you try looking at your own back? That's not possible, right? So the movements do have some restrictions. For example, try to move your jaw. You'll be able to open your mouth. You can talk, you can chew. You can prob move only your lower jaw. Have you tried moving your upper jaw? It's not possible, right? Try to pretend as if you're playing a cricket. So your arms, they move. Your leg positions, you bend. So you can perform various different movements, but certain movements are restricted, right? Now, why don't we try moving the different parts of our body? The neck, as I said earlier, you can move your neck only sideways or up and down. You cannot make a 360 rotation of the neck. You cannot see your own back, right? Try moving your wrist, your fingers. If you want to hold something, you use more than one finger to hold it. And try to stretch your fingers, close it, open it. Your knee, stand up and try to bend your knees. Your toe fingers, how do they move? The elbow part, you can stretch your hand and try moving the elbow part. See how it moves. Your arm, try to stand up and bend and see which part of your body moves. Did you notice that we are able to bend or rotate our body in places where two parts of our body seem to be joined together like elbow, shoulder or neck? These places are called joints. In our body, we have certain type of joints, ball and socket joint, pivot joint, hinge joint, fixer joint or some examples. Bones cannot bend. So how you are able to bend them? Because we don't have a single long bone in our body. We have several bones that are joined together. For example, let us take our elbow. 
we have upper arm and lower arm that are joined at our elbow region knee for example we have upper limb and lower limb that are joined together at the knee area this joint in the elbow joint and the knee joint are called hinge joint now stand up keep your left hand on your right shoulder and try rotating your right arm you can feel the movement at your right shoulder now this joint is called ball and socket joint we have ball and socket joint at our hip area as well the joint where our neck joins the head is called pivotal joint it allows us to bend our head forward and backward and turn our head to our right or left some joints are called fixer joints in our skull some bones are joined together and these bones cannot move at these joints such joints are called fixer joints how do you think we will look like if we don't have bones in our body that's right we all will look like a big blob these bones form a framework to give a shape to our body this framework is called the skeleton the rib cage protects some internal parts of our body like heart lungs etc the backbone is made up of very small bones the rib cage is connected to these bones pelvic bone helps us to sit finger bones helps us to move our fingers to hold something you can stretch your fingers and in our skull we have the immovable joints that are called fixed joints there are some additional parts of the skeleton that are not as hard as bones and they can be bent these are called cartilage now try to touch your ears at your ear lobe area and the upper ear in the upper ear we have ear cartilage we have cartilage in other parts of the body as well there is cartilage in our knees in our elbow area etc muscle is a bundle of fibrous tissue in a human body it has the ability to contract thereby resulting in movement it helps the bones to move muscles work in pairs for bones to move when one muscle contracts the other muscle of the pair relaxes muscles can only pull they cannot push in this video we learned about human body movements watch part 2 of body movements for animal movements